L ladies and gentlemen, Edu is cooking something special this summer transfer window. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Arsenal are in advanced talks with Romeo Lavia. We have submitted another bid for Declan Rice. We have submitted a second bid for Kai Havertz. And yesterday, we have submitted our opening proposal for Timber from Ajax. And all these transfers are currently in the works. Arsenal are extremely busy at this moment in time. I'm going to break it all down for you guys right now. But let me know quickly in the comment section, what do you guys think of these four transfers? And if we were to get these four in, what would you rate this transfer window out of 10? Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section. Let's get this show started. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as we get this show going. And you know what? For Ruti Romano, take it away. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. And I'm back again with another video. This is another upload. I will be doing a live video later today at 5 p.m. So if you're watching this now or you're watching this on the playback, do come check us out live at 5 p.m. with Arsenal Informer. But of course, do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get the show started. First things first, we got to talk about is Kai Havertz, as this was the first news that was reported earlier this morning. We already spoke about Timber in the previous video, so we'll talk about Timber later on in the video. The four, uh, four hours ago this morning, Samuel McBell was the first one to report that Arsenal had made a verbal offer of £60 million pounds to Chelsea Football Club for Kai Havertz, guaranteed fee of £55 million. And the board, uh, uh, the boards have made an agreement with, with the player for personal terms, and everything should be going up ahead. Chelsea want around £75 million, but this should most likely get the job done. I think 60 million for Kai Havertz should get definitely get the job done. This is this is a lot of money, and any more than that, we're 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 gonna get fleeced. Like 60 million already, we're 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 somewhat getting fleeced because I don't rate Kai Havertz that much. But Mikel Arteta seems to rate him very highly, and as Arteta has been able to get the best out of Ramsdale and Ben White and some of these guys that the fans are not too fond of, I wouldn't be surprised if he's able to do it again seems like that's his specialty to get to find hidden gems and make something better out of them but yeah 65 million make uh, 60 uh, 60 million 55 million up front 5 million add-ons that's what it seems to be at this moment in time and this was originally broken by the daily mail also cooperated by Fabrizio Romano and everybody else over over on on that side of things let me just show you what he had to say over there Fabrizio Romano that is one second where is his, uh, let me find Richard Romano's tweets. Uh, yeah, he just tweets about everything, but here we go. So he was talking about, um, uh, Kai Havertz has already agreed uh, terms. Arsenal hope to, uh, to get the deal done, five-year deal for Kai Havertz has been agreed, indicating the fee can get done around 65 mil. So Chelsea are holding out for another 5 million as their original valuation is 75 million. Honestly, the Kai Havertz deal is going to get done. It's more than likely going to happen. But there's a lot of other stuff that we need to focus on. Not only are we looking at Kai Havertz, but we're also looking at Declan Rice. And we've had a major breakthrough today with the Declan Rice transfer. If you guys, if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, everyone is reporting it at this moment in time. Originally, uh, originally broke by uh, by by jo uh, John uh, John Cross from the Mirror saying that Arsenal have made a new bid of around 90 million pounds for. Uh, for Declan Rice, this is now a club record bid and, and in pole position to sign West Ham's captain and England star Declan Rice. This is massive news, guys. This is amazing. This is showing that we are serious and we're putting the money, uh, put, we're putting our money where our mouth is, trying to get the job done, trying to get everything done. And now this is this is uh, this is this is where this is where things are, are starting to progress. Now, let me show you guys what what the breakdown of this deal was. Uh, and reportedly, this deal could actually not go through. But this is another step closer as we are continuously pushing and pushing. David Onstein reports that Arsenal have made a second bid with an improved offer to West Ham of 75 million plus 15 million in add-ons. West Ham are going to hold out for about as close as possible to 100 million. This is still below their valuation of what they wanted. This is not. This is expected to be turned down at this moment in time. But of course, it is a record 
bid and uh, it is a serious bid in, in the, indeed. It is not something where we are trying to take it lightly. What, it, Declan Rice is still our priority signing at this moment in time. And the second bid is not going to be enough to get it done, but it does seem to be closer and closer at this moment in time. I'm still getting very excited about the Declan Rice deal. I do expect it to happen. I don't think we're going to lose Declan Rice. Fabrizio Romano here is saying the second bid uh, is expected in the next coming hours. Uh, 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 ne was never sent in last year. Arsenal remained calm and feel that the player wants to move. The second proposal is around 90 million, uh, not linked to Romeo Latvia deal. Uh, no bid yet in, in that case. So I don't know why he's adding the Romeo Latvia conversation in there. But yeah, uh, Declan Rice conversation is still progressing. There seems to be a situation where we're bidding for a bunch of these players and we're trying to get a bunch of them over the line at the same time. So it is very good, good news indeed. Now, just, just before we go to the Timber stuff, I'm just going to show you guys the remaining conversations. We also have the Romeo Lavia conversation here. If you, if you don't know, Arsenal have been strongly linked to Romeo Lavia and it's understood that Arsenal are uh, are in advanced uh, talks with Romeo Lavia. We've agreed personal terms with the player and Southampton hope for a record uh, under 21 record for the player to be moving to Arsenal. Um, this is this is this would mean that he would be going for around 50 million plus uh, potentially if we were to get him. That would be a record for an under 21 year old for. Uh, that that's their hopes at this moment in time. It's definitely not the 75 million that Van Dijk went for, but Romeo Lavia to Arsenal is progressing quite quickly. We have negotiated with, we have started negotiations with Southampton and he is a serious target of ours. The 19 year old Belgian international is the one of the guys that we're going after. And I would be, I would be shocked if we, uh, if we got him without Chelsea coming in last minute. So we are going to have to keep an eye on Chelsea as everyone is going to tell us to keep an eye on Chelsea because Chelsea are going to be a thorn in our sides in all these transfer negotiations that we try to pull off for the foreseeable future. Now, with that being said, there is also one more major factor that we got that we learned about yesterday. It is Timber. Timber of Ajax is heavily linked to Arsenal also, and reports coming out that Arsenal bid 30 million yesterday. David Onstein was the first one to report that. Now the reports are coming out again that we are going to be, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, reports are coming out again that Arsenal expect to, to have that £30 million bid rejected and have another £50 million bid go in as soon as possible. So to just give you guys a quick little recap of everything that's going on right now, this is this is, this is is a quick little recap of everything that's going on. So Arsenal have made uh, a second bid for Kai Havertz of £60 million, uh, 60 million pounds, which is uh, 55 million up uh, up front and 5 million in cash with timber we've we've submitted another 50, uh, 30 million pound bid declan rice we've submitted a 90 million pound bid which is 75 million cash 15 million uh, uh add-ons and then romeo lavia we're in advanced talks so that is the situation right now with those four transfers let me know if if arsenal were to get these four transfers in what would you rate the transfer winner out of 10 for me personally if we were if we found a way to get these guys in it would be a great window in my opinion and it would be some i would give it i would say it's between a seven or eight personally for me but what would you guys rate this window out of 10 if arsenal were to be able to pull that window off in the summer transfer window let me know what you guys think in the comment section as Arsenal are also still interested in Ilkay Gundogan, and that could be a possibility. But at this moment in time, we are just interested as he also has interest from Man City to keep him. He also has interest from Barcelona. He also has interest from uh, Saudi Arabia. So these are things that we need to keep an eye out on because that could change. That could make things change quite quickly and change things for the better or for the worse for us in the long run to try to get these transfers over the line. But it is it is a positive. Things are moving the right way. We're seeing bids going in. We're seeing, uh, we haven't seen a bid get accepted yet. But at this moment in time, we're cooking. We're trying to get things done. We're trying to get things going. And the negotiations are ongoing. It seems to be Chelsea and Arsenal are closer and closer to an agreement. But we all Arsenal have done at this moment in time is put record bids on the table for all these different situations. In other news, Fulham Balogun has made it clear that he will not go on loan again. 
uh, uh, when talking during his uh, US USA duty. That just that just gives us a situation where we have to decide what we're going to do with uh, Balogun's future. Let me know what you guys think Arsenal should do with Balogun's future. I think we should give him an opportunity to play in the preseason. And if he doesn't want to stick around and fight for his place, then we're most likely going to have to sell him as he does have a wide market of people who are interested in buying him. And I don't think a lot of people are interested in buying Eddie Nketiah. But let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm only keeping Eddie Nketiah because uh, Balogun has more market value and we could potentially get a lot of money for him plus a sell-on clause or a buyback clause in the future. So that would benefit us in the short term and in the long term with that being said. But yeah, a lot of the stuff going around today is 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 mainly is mainly around is mainly around uh, the 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 four people that I was showing you guys earlier. This is this is this is where it's mainly the main thing is around those four and I am quite excited about the potential of bringing in Romeo Lavia, Declan Rice, Kai Havertz, and Timber. If we bring these guys in, this is a serious transfer window. We are absolutely serious. We're doing some massive business if we can pull this off. And if we can pull this off, this is the kind of stuff we were we were looking forward to when we got Champions League football. This right here, I want to know from you guys, what would you rate this transfer window out of 10? And if we can get these four signings in, wow, what a transfer window that would be. Now, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I can read or and respond to as many of your comments as possible. But at this moment in time, it's looking good. It's looking good. And yeah, um, talking about um, Thomas Partey, he has links to Saudi Arabia, but he's probably going to end up staying. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll be back again at 5 o'clock with my full video. Me and, of course, what's his name? Um... Arsenal Informer. So keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If what do you rate this transfer winner out of 10? Let me know, guys. And I'm out of here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the flip side, as you guys already know. And for Bruti Romano, take it away. Here we go.